So, your favorite x-ray video guys are back here at PsyApps to show you some new features about our ultra small, ultra fast, ultra lightweight new XRF x-ray analyzer. So first of all, by way of introduction, as we've said before, unlike the other x-ray units on the market, this one has completely new electronics processing technology, a totally new x-ray tube technology. What does that mean? The X-ray tube is much smaller, much lighter weight than other tubes, makes the device a lot smaller. And the completely updated processing technology in here, especially in the pulse processing, lets us count at much higher rates with good resolution, very high live time. But if this thing is counting several times higher rates than any other X-ray um, that you're gonna see. So the end result is speed, 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 and precision, precision, precision. So it's really been, it's really been a great product. People really liked it, especially the speed and the precision and the light and the uh, and the, the lightweight. So what I'm going to show you today is some aluminum alloys. We've now released the two beam testing, which if you're familiar, it X-ray shoots with one beam to get most of the elements. Flips to a new tube setting. We've got some high speed shutters and wheel, filter wheels in here. So we flip that to a new setting very quickly. And then we measure aluminum, silicon, magnesium, phosphorus, and sulfur in that uh, second beam in alloys. So we'll show you how fast this thing has really become compared to the other x-ray units on the market. So let's start out with the hard one. This is uh, aluminum alloy 6063. So this is frequently misidentified as 1100 because you have to see the magnesium in 6063. The magnesium is around 0.4, 0 0.5%. So these x-ray guns, other ones anyway, they may take as much as a minute to see that. What we're gonna show you is we can repeatedly see the magnesium in this 6063 in about a total six second test. So three second beam one, six second beam two. So under 10 seconds, faster than 10 seconds, we'll see the magnesium in this. And that's many, many times faster than any other x-ray device on the market. So here we go, I'll put it on there, pull the trigger. See the beam one comes up, cuts it a mix low copper, now it flips to beam two, and then a few seconds, there's your magnesium. So that was done in about seven seconds. There's your half percent magnesium. Let's do it again. Pull the trigger, first couple of seconds, it's a mixed low copper, which is all you can say about it initially, and then in a few more seconds at the beam two, there you go, there's your magnesium. All done. So in less than 10 seconds, you're now pulling out 6063, which takes, like I said, 30 seconds to a minute um, before. And the you know, precision's quite good. At 0.45% mag on the first test, 0.53. It's not as good as LIBS, um, nor will it ever be, but it's pretty, very, very good for x-ray. This will be even faster. There's your beam one. Here comes your beam two. And literally in a couple of seconds, you see your 7-8% silicon. In terms of mag content, the next one is a 6061. So let's just shoot that real quick, same thing. You see this magnesium will come up even faster than six seconds because uh, it's about a percent or so magnesium in 61. There you go, you're done, there's your 61. All right. So you can just whip through these things. Here's a 50-52. This will be even faster because it's a couple percent magnesium. There's your beam two, and there you're done, two and a half percent or so. So how does the test time compare? The test time, uh, on this 1100, other x-rays take anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds to do that, and we're doing it in less than 10. So we're three to six times faster, depending on who you're comparing it to. And again, that's just because this device can run at much higher count rates with much better resolution. It uses that very, it uses a very, um, a new rhodium anode type of x-ray tube, and uh, that gets very high currents on the device. So there you go. So that's why. So. It's not just, you know, it's not just an incremental improvement in the x-ray technology. This is really the a completely new signal processing electronics. We're the only ones that have it, and uh, at least for now, and the speed is a great example. And the so it's not just the aluminums that are really fast with that two beam, with this new two beam technology. Here's a, a stainless 303. Only difference between 303, 304 is a little bit of sulfur in 303. So I set the unit up to do a total five second test. Hey, now you see in five seconds we'll get the sulfur. So here we go. There's the first beam. It's either 304, 303. Now you got the sulfur. So in under five second tests, we're measuring the sulfur in a 303. 
Uh, let's look at some aluminum bronzes and some silicon bronzes. Here's a, uh, again, these will be quite quick as well. Here's an aluminum bronze. I think we can do these in under five seconds. Let's give it a shot. So the first couple of seconds, you see it's a copper alloy, and you flip over, and again, in a couple of seconds, it's got the 10% aluminum. All right, second time, do it again. Flip it over, there you go, tense. So now you can do these aluminum bronzes in faster than, faster than five seconds, which used to be, again, a 30-second test with some of these animals. And look at the precision, aluminum, 10.27 on the first test. 10.19 on the second test. Another aluminum bronze, it's about half the amount of aluminum. This is only about 5%. So we'll shoot that. And the same thing, in five, in under five seconds, both total total test time, we can see the 5% or so aluminum. So there you go. All right, we'll do it again just to, just to do it again. First beam, second beam, done. And there's your five, there's your aluminum. So 5.5% the first test, 5.79 in the second. So again, for a five second test, that's a really good precision on, a, on an x-ray device. Um, so that's that. So there you go. So in summary, you can now improve your productivity on aluminum. If you want to use x-ray for aluminums as opposed to libs, can't imagine why you'd want to do that. But if you do, um, you can improve your productivity by at least a factor of three to six, depending on what technology you're using now, because we're doing all these in less than 10 seconds total. Uh, even faster on your, on your aluminum bronzes. And so you can do these in about five seconds. You're doing your 303, 304 separation in under five seconds now, measuring the sulfur. So uh, that's really the story behind the new two-beam technology now available on the PsyOps-X.